name is Avery. I'm a sophomore. My name is Antonio. I'm a senior. My name is Kimberly. I'm a sophomore. My name is Simon. I'm a senior, and we're from Lincoln East. Give me all. What? what? <laughs> and this is our poem, How to Have an Existential Crisis. Welcome to having an ex. Can someone spell this out? Anyone? Existential? C R. Y. S I S. Welcome to having an existential crisis. You start, start out simple. simple. Recognize your surroundings. The entire universe so large. Recognize you're here. And slowly you are being consumed wholly by the Milky Way, by, by the, the millions, millions of galaxies, galaxies in this universe, universe that cradle billions, billions of suns with planets orbiting each, each of them. them. You don't quite know how you got here. Or why you are here. Or, or what, what living really means. means. You, you remember you are made of the same molecules that shape stars. The fabric of the universe is stitched in you. You earn completely new skin every seven years. Hundreds and thousands of cells dying and replacing each other. You hear your heart beating. The feeling of air in your lungs. Your body is a plane distant from your mind. On the verge of existential crisis, you, you realize, realize your size, the, the relativity, relativity of each breath you take. Falling into nihilistic despair. You could be having an existential crisis because you dared to question how to fall into one, like they are. In the moment of all this rush, you just want everyone to slow down. Outside does you know better than inside. You count your steps while you walk in the rain. One. Two. Three. Four. What am I actually here for? The rain falls. As my will does. I fall and let the drops drown me on the cement. My arms extend upwards as if I'm defying the gods. Why? Do the gods pity me? Is, Is that, that why it rains? rains? I feel like I've seen more thunderstorms than spring rains. Time speeds up, yet life freezes, freezing you in place. The only way to describe the feeling is by breaking down and just letting the tears roll. The overwhelming sense of urgency piled on top of shame and the feeling that you just can't do it. It's towards the end that everything around you and in your mind slows down, right? Your heart isn't supposed to be beating this quickly because this isn't the sort of palpitations you get every time you see her. But, but the, the kind that beats so hard, you wonder which one will be the last. Your, your face isn't is your own anymore, numbing itself from your nose down and your hands there. Well, you're not entirely sure what they're doing because you thought movements like this were only meant for leaves caught in the wind. Your thoughts stop moving at lightning speed. Your heart rate slows down as well. There's a sense of arrival. You don't know how, but something makes, makes sense. sense.